Yes. So how are you guys doing? Uh, this is um, kind of an impromptu video. Uh, I know people were asking for me to uh, speak on this, uh, especially on Reddit and a few, few uh, people on Instagram as well, which, you know, I've never really had um, that much uh, activity on Instagram, you know, being a married guy. Uh, it's kind of funny how just in the last few days it's been kind of a, a whirlwind of support and hate that I'm not really used to it's kind of it's kind of funny man it's kind of nice man because i mean i went through whole, i went through my entire adolescence of you know not really getting picked on because i was always bigger than most people and um now that i'm on this whole online space and i have free time um yeah i just kind of fill the time with you know uh, watching entertainment you know, that it's I, I usually will work and I'll have like something playing in the background and fresh and fit has always been one of those things, like as far as like a podcast that runs for sometimes two to three hours and it just fills the background noise for me while I work. And uh, it's never been like a show that I will watch and uh, follow or take advice from. It's just something just to play in the background. So I, I don't want you guys to take away from this whole stream that I hate Fresh and Fit or that I'm preying on their downfall or anything like that. Like I'm not, I'm not. It's it's not that at all. Um, uh, what I do was I, I assess things and I. That's kind of what I do for a living. I, I look at things that need to be fixed. And I wanted to approach the whole show in an objective sense to where it wasn't an emotional argument. It was more of a uh, just an analytical assessment where I wanted to highlight the weaknesses in the show and how things could be tweaked or changed just to make things a little bit better. It was never a a really dig at fresh um i just i mean I, I, I again it wasn't that i wasn't trying to be emotional about it um if it means if, if the show's success means to drop fresh and or put him in the background so he can go network or uh, do more work behind the scenes and i i think it would benefit the show and you got to be honest you know myron has been a lot more patient with the guests that he has on the show. And even though sometimes, yeah, they are unruly or they like to over talk, you know, he's gotten a lot more patient over the time. And what I wanted to say to Myron when I called in was, you, you should at least try for an experiment. Do one show without Fresh. Just do one entire solo show without fresh and just see how it goes and um i didn't get a chance to say that to him and uh i had a lot more notes i had a ton of notes that i was going to say uh but i never got a chance to unfortunately because um uh, fresh wanted to make the stream all about him in the book <laughs> and you know really the book book is just one long joke you know, I, it was never something that I wanted to actually uh, go to market with or make any money off of. Um, if anything, this would be something free that I would pass out to anybody that was interested in wanting to know what Fresh does. Um, as far as the content of the book, um, everything I said was true. Um, it is only about three pages and the contents of what Fresh does is listed there. And it did take me a long time to figure out what that was. Um, I will say that he kind of took a lot of the points. Um, I think he took it fine. But I, I honestly, during the live stream of, uh, of that they had, it, it was just it seemed like he was kind of defeated, like just he was over it. And I understand that when you make all this money, you're driving Lambos, you know, you're out here, you know, spitting game and all that stuff. It, I, I think that it's hard to take any type of constructive criticism and not see it as hate. I do want to explain, um, or I guess try to plead my case that I don't hate anybody. I know there were some comments online that, um, 
I'm kind of low key racist and, and all this stuff. It's not even about race with me. I'm actually half black and half Chinese. I'm Blasian, just like Sneeko, but you know, um, it, it's not a. Uh, it's definitely not a colorism thing. It, it's just a performance thing when you look at it at the end. Um, I don't believe that Fresh belongs in front of the camera. I don't think that he has the chops to cut it when it comes to public speaking. When it comes to uh, self analyzation, he he really needs to just kind of take take a step back and just look at the past few live streams that they've done and just really observe his behavior and see what he needs to work on. Um, apparently he he was going to speech therapy and he had um, he, he had a personal trainer that he was working with and stuff, but it, it doesn't seem that he has kept up with any of that. And, um, you know, like like a lot of modern women for what they preach is that um, a modern woman that gets approached all day long and is told that she's beautiful and all that stuff. There's really no reason for a woman to self improve if she's getting validated. Whereas with fresh, because he is part of a successful podcast and he is, you know, making money and networking and knows a lot of people and stuff. I don't think he is of the mindset that he needs to improve. I think he is complacent in a way. So that's, that's honestly what I think. Um, I think the, the book was, was something that I wanted to just kind of present as, Hey, this is kind of a solution to what a lot of people have questions about. Um, this will kind of lay out kind of, hey, you know, we all know that Walter Weeks likes to network and he brings on guests. But, you know, even when I hear network, I'm thinking about the Asian doll situation, um, Waka Flocka, and uh, the recent um sports player they had on i think it was like antonio brown those were all freshes networking episodes and um they all did not end well <laughs> for the most part um but what i do want to go through is the the video because um it's now becoming circulated online and uh there are some points that i wanted to uh, shed some light on that uh, you guys probably didn't get. You probably you would like to have some extra context. So um, let me go ahead and get that video queued up. Just give me one moment. Yeah, but I hope you guys are all having a good day. Um, this is probably going to be my one and only um, video on Fresh and Fit. I don't want to come off as like a super hater. <laughs> but, um, you know, if they do have another call-in show, I do want to call in with the other um notes that i had for myron and um you know if they never do another call-in show hey maybe i'll just do the notes that i was gonna, I'll, I'll just do another video i guess and it will be all the notes i was going to present for myron um so what was that one uh oh yeah actually you know what let me go to this try to see how i can find the the video Yeah, so the video that came out recently, it was by Raw Reality, and uh, it's basically my my call in, and it was posted about four days ago. It already has ninety seven thousand views on it, and um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get to it. So this is the video right here, and uh, let's make sure that the volume is okay. You could relegate. Okay, hold on, let's start it over. Okay, so yeah, um, I was at work while this was going on. So um, I was actually working while I was doing this. It, it sucks because I did not have my notes with me. I had notes previously, like the week before, and I tried to get on the call and show and I never got on. So then the following week, I was listening in and I didn't have my notes with me. So all of this that I say was completely off of memory. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. What I do is I assess things that need to be fixed. And from watching your show, I've been watching your show for a while, and uh, I believe that you could relegate Fresh's con contribution to the podcast to four buttons on your stream deck. 
Now, when I said four buttons, that's really all it was. Um, when I said four buttons, I meant to say, um, you know, of course, so ladies, you know, that whole intro that he does with that. The other one would be uh, red flag because he says that all the time, whether if the girls are from Miami or if they're from Brickell. Um, yeah, he says red flag a lot. And then another one would have been what the fuck? Like he says that a lot. What the fuck? And then the last one would be last thoughts on the show, because that's literally all you would need. And um, I was actually working to put that on my stream deck because I actually have a stream deck XL. And I was going to do I'm probably going to do a short video on um, on that. I'm going to have all four buttons. And then, uh, you know, maybe I might set up a whole <laughs> a little fresh mannequin with some shades on and and uh, yeah, do it. That's my one critique. Now, if you need me to go more into that, um, I also have a book that has been already written on uh, you know, uh, Fresh's contribution to the show. It's called Why Myron Deserves Fresh. Now, the idea for this video uh, for the book, actually, it came um, more than a month month back because I was talking. I think I was watching a video from Duke the Don. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. He's also on YouTube. Um, he does uh, he does a lot of critique of red pill content as well. Um, but I I think one of my comments on his videos was Myron. Oh, not Ryan. Uh, Walter should write a book called Why Myron Deserves Fresh, and. Um, the whole video, I believe, was on how Fresh is useless. And uh, I went ahead and wrote that comment. And then um, then I got the idea to actually do the book. And so, but yeah, it took me weeks to figure it all out. It's spell checked by Aaron C. Poxon. Uh, why Myron deserves Fresh. Uh, why, what was it? Why Women Deserve Less by Aaron Clary. Uh, I thought it would be funny to have Aaron C. Pox and spell check it since, you know, he's a teacher. I figured that'd be a nice little, uh, I'm being serious. Throw in. I've already, I've already, uh, done the cover art and everything. And uh, I got like Fresh's bio on the back and stuff. It's only three pages. Cause that's all I could really come up with as far as contributions. Uh, well, two of the pages, one's a cover page. The other one's a table of contents and the other one's just like a double spaced, uh, list of things that Fresh contributes to the podcast. But uh, all, I mean, things that are included on the book, you know, you got the actual body count. Um, the actual body count is not important to this conversation. Um, that was just something that I threw in there as part of the description of the book. Um, I know that Fresh tries to press me on this later in the video, and I did not want to give away the actual number that I put in the book. Um, so, yeah. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of things on there, but, you know, I, I would like to, I guess, propose that, that that book should definitely be out to the masses. So people that hate on Fresh, they should at least pick up the book and know his actual contribution. So what is your bottom line here? Please tell us. Uh, my bottom line. <laughs> And, and I, yeah, that's one thing I wanted to squash right here, right now, that there was never an intention to actually sell the book. It would be something that I would have released online via Twitter or um, Instagram, uh, anything, you know, and I, I was I wanted to present this to them. And uh, possibly if they were willing to go along with the joke, I would like to have Fresh do the audio version of it, you know, do it all in one take and see how well he does it. Because, you know, we all know that Fresh is a great reader. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I think. I think that you know the 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 fresh the hate that fresh gets, it's it's kind of it's kind of warranted, you know. And I, I want to say that fresh, you do ride on Myron's coattails. Um, you know, you can't really have a show without Myron. You could have the show without you though. I mean, all you need is like a mannequin with a black tr trash bag over it. Myron just programmed like four buttons. The first button could be like so, ladies. Uh, the other button could be like red flag. Uh, the last button could be like, all right, last off on the show. All right. I'm, That's I'm being got. serious. Like, I just, I mean. And you can tell right here, look at Fresh's face. He's like, is that all you got? He, he He's he's at this point where he's kind of just rolling with all of the punches. And um, 
I think all of the Fridays that they've had where they've done these call-in shows, it's like they always get a percentage of callers that are just going to flame fresh. And um, I, I really wanted to take a um, sort of different approach to it, more of an objective approach and not just like a I hate fresh because it's not really a hate thing. It's it's just a, a way to improve the show. So that, there's a lot more, but you only want you only want to give you one point, unfortunately. I've been on the line for like three hours. No, no, keep going, bro. Keep going. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, so the porn episode that you guys did a while back, I know you guys remember it. Do you guys remember it? You were trying to help guys get off of porn? Yeah. Okay, in that episode, Fresh was asking you guys, how do you guys jerk off? Because I guess you guys were talking about jerkins or whatever. What, what was that all about, Fresh? Could you answer that question? This part where they just they act like they don't remember. I mean, I, I get it. It was such a it was a very quick part of the show, but um, I posted the clip of it on uh, Reddit where and it was super awkward. It, it's it's just, you know what? Let's go to it, man. Let's put this on hold for a second, because I'm sure that uh, you guys if for, for those of you that aren't on um, the Reddit page for Fresh and Fit, there's stuff that gets posted there daily, and um, yeah, I, I I put some clips on there of uh, stuff that is just to me. It really highlights his um, his whole stutter thing that he has going. And um, well, this is the most recent one that I put. Let's see if I can. This was from their uh, London po podcast with just pearly things. It just aired today. Okay. Fresh his balls on roids. Yo, Myron, <laughs> just chimed in, but I have been listening re religiously to you, to you for like the last oh, two months. <laughs> there you go. I'm tired, bro. I'm tired, bro. God, damn, no, it's morning, morning, bro. Super chats are harder man? than they think. Yeah, I'm tired, bro. <laughs> where, where were we Poor at? Fresh. Which one? <laughs> Those. Oh, uh, there's a. Hold on. I think I got another one here. It's. um. Let me find it. Because I have. Yeah, between the stuttering and where is that simple right because oh yeah okay. this is this is another thing one so, of the few things left you can offer a woman oops. that these social guy goes into oh wow uh, fridge or let me go back Gets up. simple right okay so this is the hot pocket analogy um this was the show after the uh call-in show i want to say this was on i think it was like monday i believe so this was the first show, the first after hour show they did after the call in show that I did. And I noticed that Fresh started doing more like actual analogies and he started speaking up more, but it just failed miserably. So let's listen to this one. This is the hot pocket analogy. Uh, this would probably be the equivalent to Myron's candy store analogy for those of you who know. Simple, right? Because look at it as a hot pocket. A guy goes into his fr uh, fridge or freezer or whatever. Gets a pocket, puts it in the microwave, eats it. A girl's like, what should I eat today? Should I eat bananas, hot pocket, pizza, Italian food? Says, you know what? After all day of thinking what she wants to eat, she'll go hot pocket, but after the fact. But she thought about it the whole day. So on some level, guys are ready to go right away because I'll think about it emotionally and say, okay, I'm making this choice because I feel like it's the best choice for me at this point. That's what I would say. Did you just call yourself okay. a hot pocket? No, the girl. All right. <laughs> Just confirming there if I understood that correctly. She totally missed the analogy. So yeah, that's that was Fresh's attempt at uh, media oh, to make. Um, they're gonna, they're gonna Wait, hold on. Women are fairly useless. <laughs> no, that was one thing that yeah he was just I don't know he 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 tried his best to um to make a point and it was yeah it just failed miserably. Make okay, so this is the this is the video in question as far as um what I was talking about earlier, what I was addressing. Make a choice. Pamela or a real girl, bro. I mean, Pamela. Common sense. I'm actually convinced that Fresh's right hand is called Pamela, and then his other hand is called... His other hand is the real woman. Hold on, let me, let me go back to that so you guys can see. <laughs> Make a choice. Pamela or a real girl, bro. Yeah, real girl. It's a, it's a, it's a real I girl. I mean, Pamela. Common sense. Yeah. There Pamela Anderson. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Nick said Jurgens. What the fuck? <laughs> Jer <laughs> Jer wait, how, how you want to jerk off? Uh huh. Pause? Wait, what? Wait, wait. Uh, Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious, bro. Like, is that what niggas do? 
Oh, God, man. This is oh, every time I watch this, man, I just I cringe like five years off my life, man. It's just he knew what he did when he said this. You can see it right in his face. He's like, oh, man, I really screwed up. I, I mean, I, I don't use it, but like I heard niggas use dragons. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, we all know, man. Yo, we all know. Yo. <laughs> oh god, yeah. So that's what I was talking about. Let me go back. But yeah, they like to play dumb. They like to act like they don't know what I'm talking about. Wait, what? Ah, uh, okay. So no, he doesn't remember. Um, no, no, no. Uh, well, because obviously speaking, you watch episodes. So like, what did I say specifically? Okay, uh, well, the topic was about, I guess, you, you were saying something about Jergens, like Jergens lotion, and then you said, how do you guys jerk off? And I remember um, Myron, I believe Bills, was like, what? <laughs> I wanted to know, what did you mean by that when you asked that question? Like, oh, it just kind of came out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was trolling. I was, I was trolling. And this is Fresh's answer to everything. I mean, we all know that he comes from gold digger pranks and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so he was trolling. That's going to be his answer for pretty much any fuck shit that he says that makes him look bad. He's like, oh, I was just kidding. It wasn't serious. And um, I don't know, man. I, I don't I don't know one situation where you'd ever ask another grown man. Why does he how does he jerk off? It's like, why would you genuinely ask that question? I, I don't know. You were trolling. Okay. Um, the other thing, when you said there's no girl um, who has ever said anything bad about Fresh, mm -hmm. do you guys remember the black woman that had the pink hair, the green dress, and she had some dirt on you, Fresh? It was when DJ Academics was on the show. I remember. And she's like, oh, I got some sh Okay. Did you ever find out what that dirt was? 100%. It was trolling. What was it? it was Can you tell us? I made a whole stream on my channel. Trolling again. I, I, I would like to say that I believe that it has to be some type of STD or STI. And um, that's what the girl either heard or was confirmed by one of her girlfriends that I guess had messed with Fresh. But what he will say is that it was nothing and that the girl was just trying to get attention and, and all that stuff, which, you know. I'm not saying that's not a possibility, but I will say that if, you know, word does get out, hey, you know, you have this uh, this disease. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty serious, man. And uh, I'm sure he wouldn't want that getting out. So I guess it's all left to speculation. Channel bought it and it was nothing. It was nothing. Yeah, if you want it, you can watch the whole stream. He was stream. just trying to get attention? 100%. I would never... Let's just stop it right there. I would never watch an entire stream of just fresh, like, explaining something. That That's... Uh, I, I don't have the time to do that. It was like an hour stream. But yeah. An hour? An hour to say that it was just trolling? It's like, I, now that you told me that, I don't need to watch it. Get down. Okay. Okay, so, okay, well, that was like 45 minutes of, like, nothing then. Okay, so if you guys look in the top left corner, I was trolling is his favorite excuse. That's, li that's, couldn't be further from the truth. It, se it seemed like she really had some stuff because when the, guy, when the girl asked her, like, oh, would you sleep with Fresh after knowing this information that you know, you know, and she was just like, oh, hell no. So that was kind of like, you know. Well, to be fair, it could never, have been something. To be fair, I would never smash her, bro, to be honest, but. And also, to be fair, she would never smash you. She was just, she was repulsed by you. And I think that says a lot. The fact that she didn't, the fact that she didn't want to say anything to incriminate herself or to, I guess, get kicked off the show because she said that she wanted to come back. I do remember her saying that. And, um, you know, they just kept pressing her and pressing her. And she was like, no, I'm not going to, not going to say it. But, uh, you know, What's unfortunate is that Fresh will never come forward with what it actually was, or um, you know he's gonna just say that it was just trolling and she was just trying to get attention, and we just have to accept that, which is unfortunate.
But I don't know. Hey, put him on the lie detector test. See how he feels about that. Well, I don't believe that. You, I don't believe that you did. I don't. I don't think that. I don't. You know, I mean, we we all know you don't dabble in the dark. Sometimes. But. <laughs> well, we also know that you smashed a bunch of whales, and that's how you got your lay count up. Um, the the a few. thing that I guess would really like to. <laughs> I mean, hey, we all gotta. You gotta slay some grunts, right? Because that number up. I, I get it. I do believe that Fresh is that guy that takes one for the team. I'm sure he does that a lot. So, yeah, pretty pretty easily. But, um, damn, I have a lot of stuff. Okay, well, I guess I'll take it off of Fresh and talk to well, Myron no, for a bit. Caller, Myron. No, hold on. Before we go to Myron. Um... Okay. I had so much stuff for Myron. It This sucks that I had to continue talking with Fresh because I pretty much said everything I needed to say, but because he wanted me to reiterate the book, it just, yeah, I, I had a whole, I had probably about equal amount of stuff I wanted to say to Myron, but hey, next uh, call-in show. Okay, go, so, ahead. go ahead. So you made a page book about me, what I do for the show, right? Um Yes, it's what's a in, contribution book yeah, uh, as far as what you do. What's on all three pages? Just so I can, I can clarify and understand this book. Well, it, the, fir the, first yeah. page, the first page is the title page, which is just the title of the book. When you open the book, the first page is the title of the book. Second, book, second page is the table of contents. Mm -hmm. And the third page is the list of contributions that you do. And it's that, it actually had to be double spaced so it could fill up the page. Okay, could you list that out for me? Uh, I can give it to you on Twitter if you like. No, no, no. Just tell me now. I'm here right now listening, 100%. Uh, I like the idea. Just tell me what the, uh, what's, what's the concept? Oh, it's was. a great idea. So you would love the cover art, too. No, what's It's like the, the black version of Myron's book, basically. Yeah. But, huh. but it's why Myron oh, no. deserves fresh. It's, it's really, it's actually, actually, yeah, I like actually pretty proud of what's it. What's in the book? Well, I mean, it has your actual lay count in there. Which is? Well, see, I'm see, not going to give it the away. Problem, the problem is, bro. <laughs> look, 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 I, I need to be funny. That, that's not the important no, part. Go, the important go, part go, is your contribution to the podcast. You're trying to be funny, but um, you don't know what I do. And actually, I'm going to brag about it on the nobody show. Nobody knows what you do. That's the thing. You exactly. have a t-shirt that says nobody knows what I do. Exactly. But I think that's like the best but, meme but, in the world because color, it's like you actually why, like you get it. Why do I have to explain what I do to you? It's Well, the thing is. Mm -hmm. Uh, what you do should be self-evident. What you produce should be self-evident. You shouldn't have to prove yourself to anybody. Byron doesn't have to prove anything to us because everything that he does and everything he says, even in that porn episode, he has some quotables out of that episode. Uh, the one thing that he said that I, I have a comment on that YouTube video, it says, I'm not fapping. I got to make shit happen. Yo, that shit belongs on a motherfucking t-shirt, yo. That was some fucking brilliant shit. But uh, to that point, I you can you can tell that Myron was holding back his laughter right here. Um, and I think there's a part actually where he goes off screen and it's just showing fresh. You can actually hear it's either Myron or it's um, Big Mo. One of them is like snickering in the background while the camera is on fresh. And uh, yeah, it's 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 when I'm talking about the book and how I'm proud of it. Like when I say that part, you can actually hear somebody like snickering in the background. It's pretty great can't think of one quotable that you've had in three years of this whole podcast except how do you guys jerk off that's the only thing i can remember from what you said i've had a few quite quite a lot actually but you can't name any you can't say anything you know you have a couple catchphrases for example um you know think about this but nothing like profound, just a bunch of one liners. Yeah, but um, again, uh, caller, what were the four things that you said that he does? Yeah, I'm still he waiting. He said he does four things. What was, what was it? Now, to clarify, I never said that he had four things that he does. I said that he his role could be relegated to four buttons on the stream deck. Um, the fact that Myron kind of put me on the spot here, this was all off the cuff and this is all off of just my knowledge of the show. And yeah, I mean, I was trying my best to <laughs> give a fresh, a lot of chances in, in terms of, uh, you know, 
I don't know, maybe correcting me, maybe chiming in, maybe we can be like, hey, actually, it is this way, but he never said anything, which is unfortunate. So. The four things that he does for the, co- for the podcast? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, he says he networks, okay. so that's one. All right. Which, that's a big, that's a big contribution to the podcast. Okay. Um, I do believe that the... The new studio, when Myron was setting it up, whatever, he had all his hands and stuff on deck. I think Fresh was the only one that didn't actually, like, get his hands dirty putting the new studio. Is that true or not? It, that I do not know. I don't that's know if that's true That's not his expertise. He put the money in, though. That's what matters. He put the money in. Okay. Yeah. See, that, that is what matters. I'm, because, I'm, yeah. uh, and me, and Mo, I, me and Mo I, are the I, equipment guy. You know, guys, you know what I mean? Me, Mo, and Andy pretty much, like, set all yeah. the shit up with the so- sound and the video. Like, and where they and, and, and So, yeah, and Bill. So, like... That's not Fresh's thing. It's a beautiful studio. Yeah, it's not Fresh's thing, but yeah, you could give him a broom or something. You know, he could probably sweep up. I don't. I don't know. I mean, give this guy a little bit of credit. I, I, the fact that, yeah, he's gonna say, you know, in Robert Greene's Forty Eight Laws of Power, you know, don't get your hands dirty, don't outshine the master, all that stuff. Like, come on, man. We we all know this stuff, but I really think that Fresh, you know, probably listened to the first chapter on uh audiobook and he was just like you know what he put the book down never or stop listening and he's just like i'm just not gonna outshine myron that's gonna be the that's gonna be my whole stick i'm just gonna sit back and just let the show run and if you know it comes to my port where i have to contribute i'll say a couple things here and there to kind of break the tension and then just let myron keep going so i honestly think that's just a formula that he's been working off of ever since he read that book I'm not, I'm not, that's that's fine. If he doesn't want to get his hands dirty and actually, I just don't think that there's enough passion on his end that there is on your end. I'm not saying that he has to be you, Myron. I'm saying that he needs to bring the same type of experience that he claims that he has. I mean, if this All guy right. has over what's a thousand, uh, so what's lake not, so you said whatever, number one is you, network. You think you would have like more? You think you would have better advice to give on, you know, dating girls and stuff, stuff like that. One thing I wanted to say that if Fresh is the man he says he is in terms of, you know, being having over a thousand lay count, you'd think this man would ooze charisma. You know, he would have just so many life experiences to talk about and just be so well versed on so many subjects. But it just doesn't appear that way with him. He he seems a lot more where he, he will say that he doesn't want to brag, but. Honestly, I think if you don't have anything to talk about or you don't have anything Yeah, if you don't have if, if you don't do anything, then you can't brag about anything. I think that's just the whole real deal. But like, you know, I watch all the shows. I watch the, you know, Money Mondays, the Woman Hour Wednesdays, all that stuff. I watch everything. Stop the cat. Um and what I notice is No, it's true. I watch it all. Um Nope. What I can say is that yes, during the Money Mondays, Fresh does have good business sense. And I think that's kind of where he shines. But I don't think that he is strong on any other show. All as right, so, like so a, number a one, presence, so you know? going through your list here, you said he networks, right? And then what's the other three things that you said he does? Oh, gosh. Like, I really have to, like, I had to really sit down and write this book. It took me probably longer to write this Bro, book just say than it, it is, to write man. your book. Just say what it is. This is 100% true. Uh, I believe Myron... He talked about writing his book for probably like half a year and he got it done. And yeah, it's taken me a lot longer to put together just the list of things that Fresh does. I mean, it's so hard, man, because like you got to be really gracious and really pull things out of the air to, you know, give him, you know, type of chances and stuff to to, to really give him any type of credit. Um I mean, it's just, it's, it's tough, man. It's definitely a brain exercise for any of you guys want to try it at home, man. I, I, I highly suggest it. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like it took me a while to think about it. Um, I mean, I guess he, you said that he, well, he says that he cuts the tension with his dad jokes, even yeah. though he's not a dad, but you know, he's, he's got a lot of, you know, all right. Corny jokes. All right. Good cop, bad cop. Um, What's number three? Go ahead. I, I would, Give me a second. I got I to gotta really think about this, okay? I didn't think I was going to actually have to give away the sauce for free. Um, as far as the, the third thing, I mean, I guess he shows up. You know, he, he, he – I don't know. I mean, I think showing up is half the battle, right? That's, that's, a, 
I guess. I mean, he, he's like, you, know, if you guys were taking attendance. Yeah, he's been there for all the shows. Like, that's great. But, I mean, dude, you could do that with a mannequin and four buttons. Like, he, I can tell that he worked at Wix reading off of a script because, like, everything that he contrib- contributes is a repeat as far as, like, what he said. It's never, je- it's, it's never like, off the cuff. It's always, like, it feels like it's scripted. Or, you know, he said it so many times. It feels like he's like, uh, what's the word? Um, just reciting something, you know? All right. Uh, and all the fresh supporters or, or all the people that glaze him and stuff and say that they appreciate all the stuff that he does, they never go into detail what he does. They just say that we appreciate what Walter does behind the scenes. And they just leave it at that. They never go into detail. And um, I think it's kind of funny. It's just it's it's one of those things that, you know, um, it's kind of like Bigfoot. It's like we we we've heard of it, but we don't really know for sure that it exists. You know, Fresh's talent. Yeah, we've heard that he has talent. We've heard that he contributes, but nobody's ever really seen it. Uh, oh, OK, man, I can't say the same for you, though, Myron. I can I can say that. Yeah, I mean, that's I, honestly I can't think of the fourth thing. It was like something I really had to really squeeze the brain juice out to try to get it. But. I mean, I guess he's got the nice guy game going. To the uh, the fourth thing, I, I still to this day cannot think of the fourth thing that it was. Um, it was all of those points that I brought up are completely not in the book. That was something that you know Myron put on me to kind of express what does he do, and I I really had all that stuff was off the top of my head, so it wasn't and none of that stuff was in the book. And but, you know, I, I, I have added it to the book and um, it's still we're still at three pages, guys. <laughs> you know, and of course, you know, nice guy game paired with money. Yeah, sure. You're going to get a lot of girls that are going to right, call her, call her. Are you, aware of, you for, look, for what call you her, provide? Call her, call her. You understand yeah, that yeah, yeah. to do this show and do this production at this level. Here comes the. The canned response that Myron has for everybody that says that Walter doesn't do anything. It doesn't contribute anything to podcasts. This is the talking point that Myron has. You guys listen up. Requires a lot of things to be done behind the scenes, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So you may not necessarily see and appreciate the things that Fresh does, but we would not be here had he not been here. Fresh could be behind the scenes, though. That's what I'm saying. I think that one show where you had... Um, Chris in his place, way better. Hey, y'all, yeah, I know you guys like rag on Chris, but Chris. And also that one show where they did an experiment where Fresh hosted the show and Myron just sat there quietly. Dude, that was the worst episode ever. And that was something that they got so much backlash for. They've never done that again. So that, uh, that has to account for something. This is way funnier than Fresh. Okay. That's not even an opinion. That's an objective fact. Well, the whole... It, but it, it's okay. Let, let, let him do his job. Let him do uh, sourcing the girls and all that stuff. Like, I get that he has his job to do. But, I mean, I just I just think, okay, just hear me out. This is the last thing I'm going to say, and that's it. What's about to what's about to come up right now is something that I had in my notes. This was something that I had remembered that I had remembered from... Um, from uh, just the points that I had written down, I real I, I was thinking that if Myron ever wanted to get remonetized again, he could go the fitness route, and because you know he already has that little side business anyway, as far as uh, coaching and everything. Um, but if he wanted to do a YouTube channel where you know he spoke about his whole you know meal prep, uh, weigh in, uh, muscle targeting. And just, you know, the different workouts that he does. And you know, I mean, he doesn't necessarily have to do like blogs and stuff of him going to the gym. I'm not saying that. But if he wanted to kind of go the whole fitness route, I think that would be a another tool that men could use to improve themselves. And, um, you know, maybe he could do Finance Fridays where he talks about, you know, investing money and stuff like that to kind of break it up where it's not all fitness. But, um, yeah, I think... Uh, I thought that was a valid idea. And, you know, all joking aside, this was uh, something that I was pretty serious about. If you were to go solo, you could call it Fit Check with Myron Gaines. 
muscle Mondays, meal prep Mondays, workout Wednesdays, weigh-in Wednesdays, and fitness Fridays. Just saying. I'm not going so long. If you ever wanted to. Not doing it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And this will be kind of the whole, you know, the whole loyalty to a fault kind of argument that gets flung at Myron a lot. I, I do believe that his loyalty does create kind of a blind spot when it comes to fresh. He doesn't realize that the show could be so much better and they could, he, he, he would have so many more subscribers if he did certain things and kept fresh kind of in the background, kind of like how Chris is, you know, because fresh can be in the back to, uh, I mean, I don't really want to give a job to Fresh, honestly. I think if he wants to go network, you know, if he's not on the show, he can actually be out networking and just continually getting guests for the show. So I think that's um, that's something that could could be done. The thing is, I, I do think that the, the hate would not be there. Well, the hate's going to be there regardless. Let's just be honest, okay? Yeah. But. There are some people that literally one of the criticisms earlier was saying that I'm, I would like I'm to too admit- loyal. What the fuck? What happened? Sorry. I said they're gonna hate no matter what, bro. Literally one of the criticisms was, "Oh, you're too loyal. Your friend does X, Y, Z, and you don't agree with that." That's a that's a the, the hate is a tenement of success, and I'm not gonna. I, I don't. I think the whole loyalty thing it is true to an extent. I believe that Myron doesn't have to completely separate himself from Fresh. He could still keep Fresh on as. A networker, a person who, you know, keeps the leads coming to the show and everything. I think that's, you know, that could be something. Or if, you know, if he wants to put him in on the, you know, the credit score episodes or credit card episodes, if they want to do another one of those, you know, yeah. I mean, I do think that Fresh is kind of like Rain Man in that instance. Like he he has a lot of knowledge when it comes to finances and business and stuff like that. And I think that could be something where he can actually contribute. So going to take that away from you guys what you guys have done you're, you guys are very successful even after the whole cancellation i think you guys have been more successful but what i what i think that you could do to make it better is just drop fresh i don't know put put fresh in the background you know if he's going to work in the background if he's going to like be behind the scenes he should actually be behind the scenes that's just you know so you wanted to see me yelling at thoughts for three hours bro come on man no, no. It doesn't have to be just you. It could be you and a rotating guest of whoever you want. If you want to, I mean, I know you can't have Sneeko because the whole YouTube thing, or the whole banning thing, whatever. But you can have other people that come commonly come in and rotate, whatever. Um, but just people that actually like can match your energy, man. I just feel like he just sits there like a bump on a log, man, and just he waits to end the show. Well, I talk a lot. I do think that. Um... As far as possible candidates of people that could come on the show and be like in a rotation, um, I do like the Psych Hacks guy that came on, and um, and also uh, there was another guy that came on. Um, what's it called the the Mono guy? Uh, it was a Mano, the guy that was like the fitness scientist. He's good too. Um, but yeah, you could also you could probably throw in a couple, you know, people in there that uh, maybe like Bradley Martin or, you know, a- anybody that has, you know, knowledge when it comes to uh, being, what's that other guy? What's his name? Uh, playing with fire. That could be a guy or they could have destiny on there. Hell, you know, mix things up. No, that's fine. The thing is you got a lot to say and I'm not saying that you, you just don't wait, you don't waste time, man. But I feel like whenever fresh says something, it's just like, okay, let's hit the stop block. You know, because we were going somewhere, but we got to like, I don't know. We have to decompress. I don't know. I don't know if we have to, man. All right. All right. That's that's all I got to say. It's actually, it's actually. Fresh just like sitting back there and just. <laughs> this is why, like, I, I, I can honestly say that he does the lowest effort there is possible. Like, he literally has nothing to say, um, nothing to retort. And it's just, it's really sad, man. It's just kind of a sad state. It's more like hate out of love or love out of hate, I guess you could say. Like, this show's great, man. It's great for entertainment. Um, but I just think that there are some things that you could do to make it better. And one thing would be dropping fresh, man. But I know you're not going to do that. 
you know. And I, honestly, I had a lot more points with that first caller that cooked you guys. Holy shit, man. Fresh, you're like three shades darker, man. That's not a racist joke. <laughs> that's a <laughs> that's a really good joke. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, for those of you who don't know who I'm talking about, Eventual Warlord, he brought up some points. Um, and uh, it's actually going to be in the full hey. Rumble video. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I mean, he had some stuff to talk about. Uh, a lot of the points that he said um, were in my notes, but I, I didn't have my notes with me. And I'm actually glad that he came on and said what he said, because um, there were some things that they got tripped up about. I, I think Fresh got tripped up and I would say Myron kind of got a little um, exposed for his, uh, you know, his thoughts and I guess how he 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 will Myron will hold the um, he will hold the torch that he doesn't have to agree with what you do to be loyal to you as a friend. And um, I kind of understand his whole direction with that. But at the same time, you would think you wouldn't want to promote degeneracy. So I don't know. It's kind of a weird gray area that they live in. But anyway. That's all I got to say. Thanks, man. Uh, you guys have a good night. I, I appreciate you going for as long as you have tonight. This was a seven hour stream. Uh, I don't know if anybody, <laughs> I mean, I know some people are clipping it up and everything and putting it on YouTube. And I'm glad that my portion um, finally made it to YouTube. Uh, I know that my portion ended up being on the Rumble stream and a lot of people that are on YouTube don't watch Rumble. And uh, so, yeah, I'm glad somebody finally clipped this up and put it on YouTube because, you know, it's it's i think it was a good part a good portion of the of the show that wasn't um it wasn't glazing i'm not glazing over here you know i'm just trying to be objective and i'm and i'm trying to only say things that would help the show not not from an emotional standpoint this is like i i try to get on last show the last call in show and i, I want to call these nights uh happy fresh roast friday because that's what these have turned into um <laughs> i mean you can, you can call whatever you want call in fridays but I think uh, so. You so you waited three it's, hours. It's always, it's you always. waited three hours to say that Fresh shouldn't be a host. Well, that you should. The, the book should come out. Why Myron deserves Fresh, because that, I think that's an important book. That I mean, it's a, bo it's a book that Fresh needs to write, or not have somebody ghostwrite it for him and have him put his name on. Kind of like the podcast, you know, all the work is done and Fresh gets to put his name on it. It's kind of like the podcast. All right. <laughs> it's already been written. The artwork's already done. I, I sent it to Walter on, I think, I think on Instagram, like a while back, and I also put it on the Reddit, of course. But uh, yeah, I'm serious, man. We need to get it out because I think that's what all these haters need. They need to hear the truth. And if they can hear it from Walter, that'd be great. I don't think you guys care, regardless. To be honest with you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think, I think ultimately, if you if if Fresh, if you can add more pages to the book to make it a little bit more, you know. Um, so, er, mom, I missed this. Where is the book notes? Um, I actually have them. I have them, and uh, I'm going to release it when it's finished. I don't want to release a half, um, a half done book. I mean, it, it's not even a book technically. It's really just, <laughs> it's a pamphlet at this point, guys. Let's be honest. Three pages. That's a pamphlet. That's not a book. But what I will say is that once it is all done, I will make it available to you guys um, in, on all platforms. I'll put it on Twitter. I will put it on Reddit and I will put it on YouTube. Hell, I'll probably even do a book reading. So, yeah, you guys just stay tuned. Um, I, I did get Fresh's blessing. So, yeah. And uh, yeah, Mr. Tao, too funny. Thank you, man. You know, a lot of people found it hilarious. I appreciate that you guys like didn't take my criticism too seriously, man. Like, I just want to make the show. Um, I mean, it's already entertaining. I just wanted to make it better, though, because there's a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of moments in there that are, you know, clip worthy that are just like, man, <laughs> it's a lot of stuttering going on, a lot of uh, cringe worthy stuff. And and uh yeah so i mean if you guys are part of reddit you guys will see it and i know that you know these guys they they really down reddit a lot because you know we we be getting them we be cooking them and stuff so it's uh it is what it is so you no know, we'll give it a little bit more substance because i think what people really care about is 
what the hell do you do, you know, besides ride on the coattails of the success of this show? You know? Caller, there's a book I want you to read if you get some time. It's called uh, 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. Read that book. Understand the fundamentals in that book. And I come back to the show and understand what I do. I think that is a good highlight of what I do behind the scenes and on the show as well. But understand the like. I have a question for you. Have good. you read that book or have you listened to it on an audio book? Both. Uh, I'm going to say that I believe he only listen to it on audiobook i am gonna be completely honest i do my theory that i did not get to say on this show was that you know that reading books and just reading reading in general actually improves your speech because it will help with your speech pattern it will also help with your um just your speaking voice you know with the way you project yourself um, there are books on this on how to, you know, increase your speech and how to increase your vocabulary and all that stuff. Um, I don't believe that you can get that from listening to a book, though. If you listen to a book on audiobook, yeah, you take in the information, but there are a lot more benefits to actually reading something uh, than listening to something on an audiobook. That was the whole theory. Um, but yeah. But yeah, he's implying that he stays quiet and then he's silent. That he's the silent master. Yeah, the the first chapter we all know of the whole Robert Greene book is to uh, not outshine the master, which in this case, you know, it would be Myron. And there was also another chapter that's further in the book where it says to um, not get your hands dirty and to let other people, you know, that are good at their jobs do their jobs and you can sit back and, you know, just kind of write all that. So I do think those two chapters are spotlights on what fresh does so detail but uh caller i, you read I appreciate it. You, read, you read it or, or I, you listen to i it on appreciate audiobook. you giving your point I have a theory of view about that on you just said show. you did both and I, I i like the funny tone and the actual book and i wish you the best with that book and hopefully you can create hey, your if own i have your blessing to release it i will release it you can create your own show uh and my whole theory is that if I release this book, I do run the risk of getting sued by Fresh because I don't put it past him that he's like, oh, yeah, go ahead. I, I'll give you, you know, I, I wish you the best with that book and stuff. He's going to probably sue me for any type of any type of thing, you know, like, like, it, it's not going to be it's not a book that is going to be sold for any type of money. Like, it's going to be something that's going to be free to the public and. Honestly, it's kind of a community thing at this point because I've had so much feedback on what Fresh contributes that yeah, I could probably I could probably fill the make, make it an actual book at this point. Um, of a similar magnitude with your own takes as well. Cool. Uh, would, I would also like to drop my Instagram. <laughs> you like to make fun of me. Uh, you said, would you go on the show if they invited you? Um, uh, I would totally go on the show, but at the same time, I, I don't think they're going to invite me, man. Just like they're not going to invite Eventual Warlord or any of the other uh, people on Reddit. Um, I do I do think they just think I was a troll. And um, But, you know, I, I could definitely... Uh, kind of show them a, a, another side you know like i am older than both of them you know i'm 41 and you know i have two kids a wife you know and i'm kind of the other side you know of, of this whole coin like I, I i'm very i'm in a very happy marriage and i'm very successful i make pretty good i make pretty good money um and you know my my wife is well taken care of and my kids are well taken care of and i i do think that I could offer a perspective uh, to let them know that, hey, you know, I get that Miami is this degenerate place where everybody just kind of is very fast and loose. Um, and you got to you got to be careful out in places like that. Um, I, I do think that uh, you could raise a family uh, with, well, I think, like $50,000 a year. Not saying that that's what I make, but. There was a caller that called in and said, hey, you could make you could um, live comfortably uh, with a family, you know, where your wife doesn't have to work on a fifty thousand dollar year salary. You know, you just got to be smart with your money. And I do believe that, 
Um, but these guys will say, no, you got to be making six figures. You got to have your own house. You got to you got to live separately from your girl and you got to have multiple girls so you can keep your, your girl on her toe on her toes and stuff. And this is a lot of stuff, man, like a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of stuff that I'm just like, yeah, that's not really necessary, man. And um, I, I have more notes on that as far as uh, what to say to Myron, because I, I do believe a lot of the. Um, thoughts that Myron has in terms of uh, male and female dynamics is kind of rooted in something. And that something is something I want to explore if they do another call in show. So, but yeah, but yeah, if they invited me, I, I would totally go. I have no problem with that. I have no problem. Sure. Sure. Is it real though? I don't know if it's real. Yeah, he's it's real. My my Reddit name is Camp Hustle One. My, uh, that's on all What's platforms. Your IG? Camp Hustle One. What's your IG? What? Is a troll? Camp. What is it? Hustle One. Camp Hustle One. Oh, and let me tell you guys. Uh, I I've just been very happy with all of the, um. All of the positive response I've been getting on Instagram, like I I li I don't follow anybody on Instagram. Like it's just I'm just on there. I post pictures of you know my family my wife me and just all of our family things and uh yeah to get the amount of traffic that i've had to my instagram in the last couple days it's all been really positive i haven't had i mean i've had like one or two like haters you know or i call them you know fresh glazers on there um but yeah for the most of it it's been overall positive so i just want to thank you guys for that uh as far as the reddit thread the reddit thread is called length or get link for girth and um it's really the only fresh and fit thread on there and I, i've had a, a few posts on there uh you can definitely find me on there just type in camp hustle one and you'll see me put an instagram story camp right hustle now saying this is me put yeah, an instagram we, we story you, right now got, so, we got, so, we it's, so we know it's you bro because you might be trolling no i'm not trolling i don't have time to troll man true don't have time to troll, man. I'm always working. I got two jobs, and you know, you gotta make you gotta make money, man. You gotta make money all the time, and uh, yeah. the The only reason I have like these few couple hours is because yes, my wife is at work, my daughter's at school, I have my son with me right now. Um, but you know, this is just a couple hours I wanted to do this. I've been wanting to do this for a while, so yeah. I don't ever have free time like this. <laughs> I'm going to be back to working another 80 hours after this. So, yeah, I'm just glad that I could come in and make a video for you guys real quick. And I'm going to be back to the grind after this. So you spent three hours waiting to troll just now. What are you talking about? This is not I would a say troll, it's quite man. The this contrary. is something serious that people really need to see. Man. It's quite the contrary. You have plenty of time to troll. That's why you waited on the line three hours to just basically say, yo, fresh. I well, I was working at the same time. I was uh, working at okay. the same time. Okay. That's what I do. I, I work was, while I... Was that a lot of children photos. A lot of children photos. A lot of children photos. Kids photos. Look how their first, their first impression of wow, you have a bunch of kids photos on your Instagram. What are you like, some type of pedo? Like that's kind of crazy that that's where their mind goes at at first. You know, it's just I don't know. Like I get it. These guys are so like they're locked in on like what an Instagram needs to be. It needs to be. Uh, a thousand professional photographs, you know, of you not looking at the camera and just only good shots and stuff. And these are also going to go up on, you know, Tinder and all these other dating sites. And yeah, you got to have a strong Instagram if you want to pull the chicks. And yeah, it's just, it's, uh, it's, it's laughable, man. You a father, brother? Yeah, those are my kids. Those are my kids. I'm, I'm a dad. I've been, in a, I'm in a happy marriage of like seven years. I got two kids. They got everything they want. They just got haircuts today. Bro, you worried about another man? You got kids, bro. Worry bro about you got kid. a family, bro. I'm not worried about you, Fresh. I'm, I'm worried about improving this show. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the truth of the entire matter. It was never an emotional argument against Fresh. Like, I don't hate Fresh. I just think that the show could be improved without him. So that's, that's literally all I've been here for. Uh, he's afraid of lawsuits still. Yeah, I'm not I'm I, I definitely don't want to uh the thing about the thing about uh the whole book thing is that yeah, it's it's not going to be for financial gain. That's one thing I must iterate and I didn't get a chance to say that on this podcast. I wanted to, you know, let them know like hey, I'm going to be passing these out at the subway. I'll be passing them out. <laughs> 
at like colleges and stuff. Um, people that are fans of the show, you know, that know who French uh, Fresh is, you know, and have similar views. And they just were like, yeah, I don't know what he does. I'm like, well, look, I got something for you. You know, it, it's it was ne it's never something to make myself rich. You know, it's not it wasn't about that. It's it's about me going in, seeing a problem and solving it. That's what I am. I am a problem solver. Let's not, put, let's not put it up because you have kids there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't put it up. We're not gonna put that. We're not gonna put it up. You have your children there, so. Bro. Okay. Nah, bro. We're not oh, I mean that's that's fine. Yeah, we I, don't, I just I just want for you. It's I mean, make, I'm in it's some of those children, pictures bro. so you guys can see. I'm I'm six five, you know, one ninety five, you know, relatively fit. Uh, the thing is, I I, I uh, relatively fit is I guess relative in this case. Um, that's fine, bro. That, that, uh, thanks for calling in with your criticisms. Like I said before, we don't want to put your Instagram on because you have your children on there. Yeah. Um, thanks, for and calling. obviously it's for, it's for no you. No worries, yeah. man. No worries. No worries. So, no worries. Yeah. Hey, but thanks for your time, guys. I appreciate you. All right. But what I do. All right, guys. So that's going to be the whole video in its entirety. And, um, yeah, man, it, it was, uh, this was definitely something I wanted to do. Um, I, I definitely, I, I, like I said, this is not going to be what my channel is about. It's not, um, I, I'm not a fresh and fit hater. Um, I just saw an issue and I wanted to address it. Um, I do think that if these guys are going to change up the formula um, and maybe possibly bring in like a, a, a a guest co-host from time to time. I think that'll be fine, you know, or if um, my router would like to do the show with just him on there, just to try it and see how it works. Um, uh, what did he say? What is his background? They said something about him putting money into the show. Um, I would say, Oh, is it fresh? He's, I mean, he's an, he, he has uh He's invested in crypto. He's also a real estate investor. Um, he also has a side business where he does uh, rental for luxury cars. So, I mean, and it also he has this thing where uh, it was called CEO Network, uh, where, you know, he, he links you with a bunch of other millionaires. And he does have a thing where you can call him. And it's like three thousand dollars an hour and he'll stutter to you over the phone. Uh, about whatever you want and um yeah if you for those of you that would like to you know part with your money in a very smart way yeah get on the phone with the fresh print ceo and see what uh gems of wisdom he can drop on you <laughs> but yeah so he that's basically yeah his well you know his, his money i guess goes into improving the the show as far as like the camera equipment and things like that um, and I guess whenever they go on trips and stuff, they put it all on credit cards. So, but yeah, man, uh, I don't really have much else to say on this whole thing. I just, I would like to just thank everybody, uh, on the internet for, um, you know, being honest, being completely honest. I mean, I've had a lot of positivity come out of this, which I was not, I was kind of surprised at the amount of positivity that came out of it. Um, I would like to thank, um, the supporters on reddit also the supporters on uh, my youtube channel and uh the the new people that are starting to follow me on instagram like it's just uh you know <laughs> maybe i'll start making more videos and stop and drop the gaming on my channel because uh you know it, it i haven't had time to game in forever because i just worked too much but um yeah this was fun man this was definitely fun and um but yeah, I got to get back to work. Unfortunately, you know, you guys, the money, money doesn't stop here. So, um, I will drop the book soon and it will definitely right now it's at three pages. I'm going to try to see if I can make it to an actual normal size book. But, <laughs> um, if I don't, if I don't make it to a normal size book, I'm just going to end up releasing it. And if it's five pages, it will be five pages guys. So, um, but yeah, for those of you that tuned in, I appreciate you. And um, thank you so much for watching. If you guys would like to sub to the channel, uh, I'm trying to get myself to a thousand subscribers so I can actually start getting super chats. And um, I'm going to do some more live streams in the future on other things that I talk about. Uh, yeah, do more of this content. Hey, man. I mean, if you guys want to hear more on um, Fresh and Fit, I mean, I definitely need to do the other half 
addressing Myron because uh, this was the first part of the two part saga. <laughs> so, yeah, we've already covered fresh. And now the next um, the next thing I will address will be Myron. And I'm not going to hold anything back. I got a lot of stuff on Myron that I think needs to be addressed. And, um, you know, but yeah, we'll save all that for next time. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, make sure that you like the video on your way out. Uh, comment down below and, you know, subscribe to the channel, man. I'm trying to get my channel up. And uh, other than that, thank you so much for the support. I'll see you guys on the next one.